Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CSI net exam is over and although I have already uploaded initial impression about the exam, few points I missed over there and yeah, this video is going to be a detailed overview, a detailed analysis of CSI net exam, okay. What I felt according to the exam which we have went through and what could be the pro uh, probable cutoff, what was the level of exam, what you can think of it from this particular exam if you are planning to prepare for the next one okay so what points you can take and you can carry forward for the next exam so these are going to be the points which i'm going to talk about in this video okay so a uh, few points which i missed in the initial impression video the first one very important one was regarding calculator okay now i was not well and i was busy with few things so i was not able to read the instructions of uh, the admit card in detail but uh, I, when, when the calculator came in the exam, I thought they have already mentioned about it. But yeah, I checked after coming uh, from the exam that there was no mention about that they are going to provide a scientific calculator. But uh, during the exam time or when the exam started, before that, if you have seen the instructions, there it was mentioned that the scientific calculator is available for you. Okay. Talking about the exam interface. Okay. So if you remember the previous exam or if you have given the previous exam and uh, exam before that, that means I'm talking about 2020 and 2021 exams and 2022 exam. Okay, so if you have given those exams of uh, like CSI net, you might have seen that the exam interface was not good. There was like question in both the languages like English, Hindi, both the questions were there on the screen. You have to scroll down to mark your option and then it was not, it was not user friendly, I would say. Also uh, like an exam before this, before the last one, that means I'm talking about uh, February CSIR net okay the exam which happened in February 2020 uh, 22 so in that month when uh, when the exam was conducted all the calculator was there but that was not a good calculator this time interface was quite uh, I will say clear and the interface which they have provided this time is much much better than the previous ones okay this time you have a toggle to change the language you can change it from uh, you if it is your wish if you want to see the question in Hindi or English it's up to you one more thing i uh, like i found that while filling the form although they ask you that what is the medium of exam or what is the medium of answer whether you want to give an exam in english or hindi i don't know why they ask that that if they are giving both the languages uh, if they are giving question paper in both the languages but no problem we, uh, there was no issue with that you can toggle the language and see the question in a particular language Talking about the other uh, parts like um, the bookmark option which we got this time, this, that is something new. Uh, it's like mark for review only which we get in the gate exam, but it was given separately like there was a small box at the uh, at the top corner and over there you can bookmark the question. Many students are asking whether they have answered a question and bookmarked it, whether it will be evaluated or not. The rules are similar to what as I said mark for review. So if you have marked the answer and put it as a bookmark that answer will be evaluated but if you have not marked any answer and you have just marked for review uh, sorry marked for uh, uh, bookmark so in that case uh, no negative marking no positive marking nothing will be done over there okay so if you have marked the answer and if you have uh, bookmarked it in that case it will be evaluated okay it will be counted okay uh, then the other parts were clear like uh, there was a proper uh, panel for questions it was mentioned clearly which question you are looking into how many questions we have done in that particular section okay so this this thing i liked this interface thing is something which i thought i i saw that csr has improved upon but then again they are charging so much for a form i think for a general category it was 1100 i guess right the form uh, fill up charge but still the centers which they are providing although my center was good but there were few centers which were not up to the standards of exam conduction of this exam right it's a national level exam so they should take care of that that is one thing which i just wanted to put it over here then about the calculator itself calculator was fine okay it was a scientific calculator it was working fine also but the way it was representing or the way it was uh, giving the results or giving the responses that was that is something which I didn't like so that could have been improved like gate calculator is much much better compared to this okay so yeah this is something 
which CSR has improved upon and they have to improve a little bit more. Now coming to the question level and about the question paper. I have already discussed this in the, in the video where I have discussed about initial impression. So again, I will tell you that aptitude this time was not easy, okay, especially for chemistry students. Uh, doing 15 questions, it's not easy. I think five, six questions were doable, especially if you have watched my uh, series of videos. From there, you have got a question on average, then you have got a question on speed where average speed was asked. So I told you what not to do that mistake. If you have seen that video, you will not avoid it. Some were very tricky questions. Some were very good questions, especially that uh, equator, uh, like the, uh, the time difference with the earth start rotating twice. So I like those things. We will discuss that in, I think that video will come uh, maybe by tomorrow morning. So we, I will discuss those aptitude questions very soon. And yeah, so aptitude was little bit on the tougher side. Organic chemistry, frankly speaking, I don't have much idea about it. I have seen some questions, they were looking quite easy, they were like very basic, but I asked the students, they told that it was moderate, it was not that easy. Some questions were difficult, some were very easy. So organic was, I will say it on a moderate level, physical chemistry was difficult. I will not say much, like it was very, very difficult, but yeah, you can say that it was above average. So yeah, there were some questions very simple from physical chemistry, some were there which require a little bit of, you know, uh, your you have to dig upon them to get the correct answer. Some questions were lengthy, some were very uh, straightforward and inorganic chemistry, especially bio-inorganic chemistry this time was very difficult, okay. Uh, like uh, it's not that not doable, but yeah, it was not straightforward. Like, very difficult means that it was not asked the way they used to ask questions from bio organic. This time statement based questions were there. If you have read in detail, then only you will be able to do. And I think three questions were there from bio organic. If I'm not wrong, please let me know in the comment section. Okay. So yeah, the level was like aptitude. I, as I said, it was uh, like little bit on uh, above average side. Physical chemistry above average. Organic chemistry, I don't have much idea. But according to the students, I'm telling it was moderate. And physics uh, and inorganic chemistry, some were very easy questions. So I will consider it average only. Okay, considering all these things, considering all these points, uh, if you ask me that, sir, what is the cut? What is going to be the expected cutoff? So I will say that last year, from the last year, it will reduce a little bit. Okay, and it will, it cannot go higher than. 110 that is too much for this particular exam because I know when there are few more than one steps involved in solving a question chances of doing mistakes increases over there and that's where people and there were some very tricky questions okay so considering all those things what I predict that's personal opinion okay that's totally my opinion and I'm not that great on predicting the cutoffs okay so yeah if you have any other opinion and if you want to counter if you want to talk we can have a discussion in the comments but yeah, it's it's my personal opinion you can share yours in the comment section okay i think the cutoff will go around 100 to 105 okay if it goes around 100 and 105 that is the range which i will keep uh, i for for general category i'm telling okay for other categories you can just reduce 10 10 marks for that so that's what i think this is what i my prediction is and this is what I think about the exam. And this is these are some points which I was not able to include in my previous video. I thought of making this so that we can have a uh, discussion about it. And yes, I discussed about students, uh, like I, I discussed with students as well regarding the level of exam, regarding the question paper. Because see, what happens as an educator, as a teacher, when we teach a particular topic, for us that question seems easy only, okay? Because we are into it so many times, we, we know the formula and we know how to go into it. But for someone who is preparing for the exam, that thing is different, okay? So that's why I, I like, I would have, if I you would have asked me personally, I would have said 110 or something. But yeah, considering that in mind, ki students are giving this exam for the first time or many students are there who uh, like, like who are giving this for first attempt or second attempt. Based upon that, I'm telling it will go around 105. Okay, so that is my expected, like that's my prediction for the cutoff. You can tell me in the comment section what you guys think about it. You can tell if uh, you have liked the... Uh, the interface of exam if you have any other things to share regarding the exam you can tell me in the comment section below and uh, that's it for this video uh, aptitude video will be coming soon like the aptitude uh, question discussion we will just do a quick discussion about questions over there so aptitude key will be coming soon uh, stay tuned for that subscribe the channel if you are not subscribed yet 
tomorrow by tomorrow morning most probably you will be getting that video all right so that's it from my side for this video thank you so much for watching and wish you all the best with the results i hope that each and every one of you who is watching this video your exam gets cleared and you get grf okay so take care bye bye